Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the Bama Standard. I'm your host, Justin Riley. Roll that beautiful intro. Welcome in, folks. We are just a few weeks away from Alabama versus Middle Tennessee State. But before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, jump in the comments section, let us know what you think. We've got an interesting topic today, and that's Jermaine Burton. The other day, he sat down and took several questions from the media heading into Alabama's first scrimmage. So what did we learn? Jermaine Burton is probably one of the most heavily criticized players going into this season. Came in last year from Georgia with a lot of hype. Fans expected something really spectacular, but they were underwhelmed. So we had a lot of questions for him. One of the first things that was addressed was the enormous amount of drops, which is really uncharacteristic for Alabama wide receivers to do, especially here in recent memory. We've been coined wide receiver U as evidenced by several receivers being drafted in the first round. Right off the bat, Jermaine addressed that very situation. So we really take initiative into our own hands and uh, staying after practice, you know, doing whatever it takes, getting on the jug machines, uh, you know, um, doing drills with the weight of, uh, with the weight of like two pound ball, but mainly just repetition of it, just catching, catching, catching. Because you're not gonna get all the catches you need in practice, so you know, it's up to you to stay after practice and make sure you get the good amount of catches you need. Based on what we just heard, it ultimately comes down to accountability. Doing the extra, going the extra mile, because yes, he is right. They're not going to get all the touches they need in practice, so they're going to have to go above and beyond. And he named some of the ways that they were doing that. And developing catching is probably one of the most crucial aspects right now and helping Alabama determine who their quarterback is. After all, a quarterback is only as good as his wide receiver. Are they doing it enough? We're going to get our first glimpse in this scrimmage. As I mentioned before, Jermaine came in with a ton of hype from Georgia. And the crazy thing was, we really didn't see much of him until late in the year. He was virtually a non-factor. And a lot of times, his effort came into question. Yes, he did lead all wide receivers in yards. Considering the overall production of the Alabama wide receivers this past year, really wasn't saying a whole lot. Due to his production or due to leading the wide receivers do he feel slept on i'm not really focused on you know how many yards i have or any touches or touchdowns or anything like that if i can do the most minimum but at the end of the day get a national championship with this team i'll do it so um yeah it's all about just pretty much how much we can contribute and we have a lot of people that can contribute i like his overall ad too. he immediately deflects the attention from himself and more to his team as a whole or his group as a whole he's even willing to do the bare minimum or achieve the minimum in exchange for a national championship I feel like there's some maturity here with jermaine burton which is something we've been begging to see I like what we're hearing so far so how does he feel about the quarterbacks how does he feel like they are developing it's definitely a different drive in that room i love the way they're working i love the way they're trying to all communicate we're just all leaving it up to them you know to just come up with that chemistry just waiting on the right amount of time just for it to click there's a lot of nick saban in the statements he just made i love how the main focus was the energy and the chemistry of the quarterbacks he wasn't necessarily trying to draw attention to any certain one or saying anyone was ahead of the other he just likes them as a collective unit leading the way by their energy and their chemistry and yes ultimately the intangibles from the quarterbacks are going to matter in the long run my question in regards to jermaine is was his lack of production or maybe sometimes detachment from what was really going on due to the fact he could not connect with Bill O'Brien. No, I don't want to use this opportunity to go into the laundry list of things or reasons why Bill O'Brien just did not work with Alabama, but you kind of felt like there was a big disconnect between him and his players, which would make sense as far as Jermaine Burton not being bought in. It's not an excuse, but it's something worth diving into so here comes tommy reese what will that do for jermaine tommy you know he definitely brings a light to that room his energy uh a guy that we can all trust you know lean on 
um, as a coach. He's definitely somebody that we look up to and really trust with his offense and, you know, really listen to uh, because, you know, he's just one of those guys, you know, he just when, when he talks, you want to listen. Like, he just brings that attitude and energy to us. So we're going to do whatever we can to go 100% behind him. Attitude, energy, trust. There's a lot of buy-in in these statements. Like what I'm hearing right now, it seems like Tommy is a guy who is just really diving in when it comes to connecting with his players. Matter of fact, in the press conference this past weekend, he talked about his play calling or scheming being designed around the skill set of the players he has. So he's learning who they are and what works for them. Bill O'Brien was system first, player second. That's not a recipe for success. You want your players to excel, it's got to be player first, and they are the system. I believe that's what I'm hearing from Jermaine right here. Now, you're only as good as those around you, and Jermaine certainly has some talented guys around him, especially the young group. This is 100% honest. You know, each and every last young guy we have in that receiver room uh, have has the potential to be something that wasn't expected from anybody, and... You know, I really look forward to seeing how those guys work because the, how much how much we do every day and, you know, how much they are young. So it's a lot on them. And to see them really fight through adversity when they're tired, you know, even ask questions, you know, that's really my main thing is when I see young guys asking questions, like that's really my motive of, of even going even harder because when a young guy asks his questions, it just goes to show that they want to learn, that they want to be more involved in. That's what these young guys do. They, they want to work and they want to know, they want to ask questions and be more involved and, you know, just have that role. What we learn here is the most impressive thing about the guys around him is not so much their talent, their speed, or their certain skill set. It's their willingness to learn, their willingness to buy in, ask questions, and fight through adversity. Sounds like Jermaine is evolving before our eyes. The success of the team is outweighing the success of the individual a little bit different than what we experienced a year ago. Back to the quarterback situation. Now, Jermaine and the Western receivers are having to run first-team reps with multiple quarterbacks. Would this be a problem? Whichever quarterback is in, it's our job uh, as a receiver and as for that quarterback to go 100% regardless and, uh, you know, execute that specific play. So we really try to, you know, slow more down on just trying to just go, go, go and, you know, really slow down and look at the play and execute each play play by play. Taking self-ownership right there, execution is the main goal in order to give each quarterback a fighting chance. First scrimmage, what's their overall goal? What's going to make them better? What is the why behind what they're doing? Still in the midst of creating our identity. Big stuff right there. That's one of the things that we were screaming for this past season. Find the identity. What's your identity? And to be honest with you, they felt it was Bryce because they were relying so much on him to do everything for them. Well, we can't do that anymore. The only way Alabama is going to be able to move forward as an offense is knowing who they are. And it sounds like that's more of a driving force than anything. A lot of good stuff we're hearing from Jermaine. So what is his ultimate goal? What is his passion this season? Stepping into the roles of uh, being more of a leader to the young guys and overall to the team. The more I've been around these guys, you know, the more my I, I've become work driven and, uh, you know, dedicated to them and seeing how much and understanding, you know, each of my players, you know, we all have different backgrounds and history and, um, you know, we all have different whys. You, when you learn what they're, what your teammate is doing it for, it makes you want to help them more. That's pretty cool stuff. His first goal, it goes back to being a leader. He wants to be a leader to those guys. And then he talked about knowing the why behind his teammates in order for the offense to find an identity, they have to know each other's why, the purpose, their plan. And Jermaine seems to be driven more from learning that about them. Driving them ultimately drives him. So in the long run, what does all this mean? It appears Jermaine is is maturing before our eyes. Does that translate to wins on the field? Does that translate to the breakout season that we expected last year? I think with his healthy perspective he's adopted, it's going to allow him to be freed up more. I think that it's going to allow him to play to his best ability, play to his strengths. I think that Tommy Reese also, with his philosophy of designing the system around the player, 
is going to allow Jermaine to excel. So we're going to learn a lot in this first scrimmage. Has he changed? Has he indeed gotten better? We don't know. But having a veteran step up and lead the way, whether it's in stats or whether it's just being a guide for the younger guys, will help out tremendously. Let me know what you think. What do you think about Jermaine Burton? What are you expecting from this scrimmage? Go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Get in this comment section below. Stay tuned. We got a lot more to go as we draw ever so closer to the opening kickoff. Roll tight, everybody.